I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. See, the easiest way to, to get started and to get experience is to just do. So, uh, the, what you're best doing is offering yourself, like maybe uh, companies, shops, restaurants, anything that is close close by to you where you live, and then in, in exchange for like a testimonial. So, they tell other people that you're good at what you do. What's going on, guys? I just got off that coaching call with Andre, and to be honest, like the more like coaching I'm doing, or like coaching, like the more I, I connect with people and I do like the coaching calls and DMs and stuff like that. Like, the more I do that, the more I notice there's, like, two types of people that are, like, wanting to do, like, the same thing as what I'm doing or what other, like, so many others are doing as well. Uh, number one, you've got, like, the people that want to do social media marketing or do you want to, like, start making money online and they get so caught up in trying to do everything as perfect as possible. It's relatable for me as well because, like, at the start I was the same. Like, I wanted the website, I wanted the cool little logo and all that. I got so caught up in doing all stuff like that. And I wasn't focusing on, like, the bigger picture or I wasn't focusing on, like, what was really, like, what I really needed to get, get done. Which, like, obviously, first of all, is to get clients. I was so, like, fixated on creating, like, a little perfect website, uh, like, getting, like, a sales funnel or, like, up and running and stuff like that. And, like... Obviously, stuff like that is effective and stuff like that can make you or your brand or business look more professional. But it's not necessary to get started. Like, if you really want to get started, you need to actually get started. You know, like, start, you know, stop, like, messing around with a website and stuff like that. And like I said, like, this is relatable for me as well. And, like, these people do exactly the same as what i done at the start of it was, like, invest or spend so much time, like, with coaching and courses and I like, look on YouTube like try and like consume as much information as possible and that's fine like that is definitely like a really good way to get started like to like expand your knowledge on on the topic but in the end it all comes down to getting started you need to take that first step same goes for like waking up early a lot of people think like they need to like really wake up early to separate themselves and they want to wake up at half four or half five and stuff like that I think like oh what are you gonna do when you wake up at half four you know like you've got people that wake up at half four and they grab a cup of coffee they watch the news scroll through instagram and they slowly wake up or like they're absolutely knackered and then you've got people that wake up at half five and they absolutely crush it you know they've got a to-do list they like they start on their most important task straight away you know they drink water they they work on the to-do list you know start like taking off boxes stuff like that like it, it, it's not necessarily about like what time you wake up it's about what you do with the time that you're awake you know and if you're a night owl or if you're more productive at night then don't get up at half five you know like stay up later and get the work done then the only reason why i get up early or when i say early it's relatively early like i get up at half six i try and get up at half six most days and the reason why i do that is because i am most productive of a morning and i notice that of a night time I'm not really in the zone anymore, I'm more chilled, you know, I'm more in the mood to like watch YouTube videos, maybe do a course, but other than that, like the really heavy, like, focused work gets done in the morning. When anyway, you're back on topic, so you've got the first uh, group of people that like really want to uh, like get something done or get something started and they just spend like countless hours trying to figure it all out and perfect it and they get so like... They, they, they fixate so much on trying to perfect whatever they're trying to do that they don't get they don't ever start you know what i mean so like i always used to say like done is better than perfect just just start just take that first step you know it doesn't have to be perfect it like straight away you know you're gonna learn as you go 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 along and you know it doesn't have to be like 100 percent from the start then you've got the second group of people which frustrates me a bit but you, you know it's just the way people are it's the are you calling the as soon as people and these are people the they say oh yeah i'm definitely going to do that i'm going to start this i want to do that i want to make so much money as soon as i finish me last test as soon as i finish school as soon as you know everyone's busy but for some reason these people are so busy that they can't like get started and like you know if people people are generally busy i understand that and you know, maybe I'm in a position where I can, you know, I can have more time to do stuff like this because obviously I still live in the house. Uh, you know, I do have a job in the gym, but it's like five minutes away, so I haven't got the commute and stuff like that. 
So yeah, maybe there are people that are busier than me, but there's always time, you know, there's always a little moment that you can use to get started. You don't have to wait until something happens in your life, you know what I mean? Everyone's busy and it's never gonna be the right time to do it. Find the time to do it. You know, like, if you, like, let's say you watch Netflix every night, watch one episode less. Let's say an episode of, I don't know, whatever people watch nowadays. Uh, I, I honestly don't really watch Netflix anymore. If you watch an hour episode every day, then, you know, if you take that hour out of your routine, you've got seven extra hours a week, you know how much damage you can do with seven extra hours. You know, lose an extra hour of sleep, or, you know, even if, if you do, like, commute an hour a day, or if you drive to work an hour a day, use that hour to listen to podcasts, or, like, listen to audio books, or, you know, do something productive in the hour that will get you closer to your goal, and that, you know, obviously, this is all about, like, knowledge, and reading knowledge, and, and stuff like that, when you're, in, like, in the car, you're, you're listening to knowledge, and you do actually need to apply it to get started, otherwise you fall in the first category, the people that are you know, trying to learn as much as possible without applying the knowledge. But, you know, like, what I'm trying to, like, uh, bring across here is that there's always time and you just need to get started. Done is better than perfect. Don't get fixated on the little details. Focus on the bigger picture, you know, and just take that first step. You know, if there's anything I want you to get out of this video is just, just take that first step. Just figure out, like, what the next step is. And, um, like, people say, like, uh, like they want to do social media as well and they say like I don't know how to, to get results for a client or I wouldn't know how to set up a Facebook ad and I think like well have you got a client yet? Well no but you know and they go I, just, I tell them like stop just stop right there you don't cr you, you know you'll cross that bridge when we get to it you, you haven't got a client yet so focus on getting that client first you know it doesn't have to be perfect from the start you don't need to have all the answers right away you know, you'll get better as you go along. Just find the client first. So no matter what you do online or even offline, if you want to do something, if you've got a goal for yourself, then just take that first step. You know, stop messing about trying to do it all perfect, do it all in one go or have all the knowledge going forward. Just take the first step and yeah, maybe you will fall down. But as long as you get back up, until you quit, it's not fail, you know what I mean? It's just a learning progress. It's a learning curve. It's... You know, it, it's just a small setback and that is like a setup for the comeback. I sound so cheesy right now, you know, I, I, I'm best just stopping this video now. But I hope you understand what I mean, you know, guys, just just get started, just put in the work. Anyway, guys, I hope you got something out of this. More of a rant, more of an off-the-cuff, like, raw type of video. Uh, I just wanted to get this off my chest, basically. I, I just see so many people fall in these little two categories and like what separates me from them is i just took that first step and I, it's not like i'm better than anyone else i haven't got like more knowledge than anyone else or you know anything like that it's just that i took that one little step extra than the other people and that is what separated me from like the hair basically anyway guys like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys wednesday <laughs>